home sweet home. This is gonna be my shop for the next couple months. A friend of mine is gonna let me uh, clean it out and pull the trailer in here. Duresta, Bob, David, April, Matthias, Izzy, Alec, and Ryan all just moved to new shops. So I decided I wanted to move into a new one too, but not just one, two new shops. Last week started by cleaning out a friend's warehouse where I planned on splitting the rent with him so I could have a dedicated space to work on the trailer conversion. The heat of Florida is unbearable and I just wanted a place to have the trailer covered and secure to work on it. Unfortunately, even though it fit on paper, this trailer was not going to stay in this shop. There's that big lumber rack over there of my friends and I was trying to avoid moving that. Back out it goes. So I decided to move it out into the yard and enjoy the extra floor space, making the best of the situation. For reasons too boring to outline in this video, this shop location was less than ideal, but it beat working out in a field and having to put my tools away each night. So I bought all of the supplies to build our futon sofa table dresser thingy, and not two hours after filming the inaugural video in our new old shop, this little gem popped up on Craigslist. So this is the new shop. It's not much to look at now, which of course is a good thing because if it were any nicer, it'd be quite a bit more expensive. Uh-huh, AC. And. Completely insulated. For a little more than I was paying to split a place, I could have something closer to home, insulated, and air conditioned all to myself. It seemed crazy, but I set about packing up all my things and moving them again 10 miles north this time. Up to that post there is all mine. So I'm gonna squeeze the trailer in right here, have plenty of parking right here, have everything locked up in here, and then uh, can even bring my awning out, get a little shade out here. So the first order of business is to get this gate back up and running. For those wondering why I'm the one fixing the fence and dealing with the generator and fixing the AC and not the landlord, it's because of the price. I'm paying 400 a month for this space, 350 until the electric gets turned back on. For an insulated air conditioned shop in Florida with 2000 square feet of parking, this is unheard of. Whew. It is hot. I am looking forward to this AC, which I found out the copper has been cut. So gonna have to have an AC guy come out, but not a bad little space. After getting everything unloaded, I organized all of my tools, got the Ron Polk workbench set up and rigged up some temporary lighting. Looking like it's gonna be tight, but might make it. Although this last week has been a case of two steps forward, one step back, I'm finally ready to get back to work. Behind the scenes, I've gathered all the materials I need to build the futon sofa dresser couch thing, the shower system, the flooring, the mini split AC system, the water tanks, and even the final parts needed to complete the stupid strong CNC. Get ready for it, cause I'm about to finish this trailer so we can hit the road. This week we want to thank Lark United Manufacturing who made our mobile workshop and this video possible. They have out of the box designs and custom solutions. If you want it, they can build it. LarkUnited.com